Okay, folks, Ed here, W4EMB, sitting here at the van at a Berkeley Wildlife Management Area. We also happen to have a 4 sb Hi. Sitting here with us. And so we're going to go ahead and focus here on the log and the radio, I guess, or hope to. And hopefully be some more call sign copy practice for everybody. We've been listening to 14.114. Uh, for a minute, so we'll go ahead and uh, give it a QRL. Today, 6th November? 6th December. 6th December? Thank you. Missing a whole month. <laughs> Alright. One time, one CQ and hit the beacon. Either you or the radio or a combination of both are just that good. <laughs> could could be a little bit of the antenna of it, you know, it's helping out as well. Alright, let's go to the website. Hey, it's got us marked. So we're gonna have some customers soon. Way down in there. In G nine T. Let's say uh, four four nine. Mm -hmm. I heard another signal in there. I thought we'd have a second call right behind that first one. It's like a butt dial. Hmm? Maybe the butt dial. Butt dial. <laughs> Set on his key. Right. <laughs> 
Which in certain circumstances might actually be a reality. Mm, could be. <laughs> Then he creeped back out. I know, right? <laughs> WZ5 Mike Mike. I know he was having some antenna issues the other day.
Gotcha, gotcha. KC8ZWP Nice job, AA5UZ. Mm, I wonder if it was a 5, I thought it was a 4. Five matches with uh, Los Angeles. Louisiana. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, <laughs> we ain't talking about, you know, counties and cities. Hey, he was number 10, he or she. I would be kind of busier than that. But I, I have no idea what the banking conditions are like today. I didn't look. Sometimes I don't want to look. I just rather go try it.
since I copied WZ5 Mike Mike at 1908, when he came back with a 339, I went in and changed the time to 1915 on him. I just wrote him down twice. Oh. I never wrote the time down on the first one because we never completed it, so. He can play, uh, he's called got my call. Well, I guess. I know who he's calling, he knows who he's calling. And the bands could fade before you can get an RST and a QTH and a name and all that business, but if you got a call, they got a call. To me that counts. I got you, you got me. Oh, you fade it out before you can tell me how good you had me. Well, then I could guess. Probably not good. But, you got my call, you heard me. Not bad for 20 minutes. doing copy wise how's it going pretty good that, that k5 ic mm -hmm. i had i think i had k5 ikc is what i thought i heard mm. so and then uh the fourth one i never got the full one on it. i had k7 and u i got k2 upd mm -hmm. da, da, da. i thought i heard a p in there but mm -hmm. i thought it was i just didn't write it down Mm. I thought it was a 7. Mm. And then I had KR8P. Yeah, I got that one. Then WB8DTT. Yeah, I got that one, no problem. W9NJP. Yep. And, and KD2GUT. <laughs> yeah. And KC8ZWP. Yep. And AA5UZ. Yep. The creeper guy that we're referring to is WZ5 Mike Mike. <laughs> By the way, joke, if you send him a self-addressed stamped envelope with a note in it that says, where's my five bucks, he'll send you five bucks. <laughs> I interviewed him after his first POTA, WZ5 Mike Mike, and just this, boy.
three. MP three. Okay, R R. Mr. State. Mm -hmm. What was the W one that you had too before? WJ1MK? Okay. Right, I had W1M, and I knew there was another letter, I just didn't pick it up. And after WJ1MK, and that J1 combo is mm -hmm. tough because cause it's like, was that a W1J or WJ1? Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. AA4MX. And then AA4MX. That sounded nice coming across the key. Yeah. Which is a little stronger there. Da 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 Sounded nice. Like your call sign. Da 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 I appreciate those real low sounding ones hanging with me and
C zero MP. That's what I got. Two it was. And down, wasn't it? Was the number two? Yep, in okay. in Zero. Oscar. In, yep. oh, Oscar. Yeah, in yeah. O two C. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought I heard. I just yeah. didn't write it down. I kept just like replaying the sound in my head.
Um, Why? Yep. KC5GTY, sorry about that. Evidently my key sending is falling out. <laughs> so KC5TTY, before that W4VIG, before that N02Charlie. WI5D. Okay. And every time we went to send his I, I know, it sounded like it cut out. Yeah, it would drop out. It would drop out. A little QSB in there, dropping the signal out. So he'd heard, da da da. Did it? <laughs> I know, I was like, man, I'm missing a letter. Yeah, both, I know I am. Yeah, both I times. I know I'm missing a letter. And he's a frequent flyer, so I thought that that's who that was. Mm -hmm. Somebody's having a hard time getting tuned. Twenty. We'll give it maybe five more minutes. And... We haven't even been here forty minutes. Mm -hmm. Minus our eating time. Yep. Minus when we had our lunch when we got here. We had a picnic when we got here. It was nice. Thought the tuner at least come in. Goodness gracious, let's see here. This is, this is the only thing that irritates me just because my hearing is so well, you know. That's why it's hard for me to enjoy it, I guess, <laughs> in well, a sense. Just get because out. it's like the, the hype, like that, it hurts. It hurts me. Other, I guess, normal people will call them. <laughs> Since I feel like I'm a bit abnormal with the high pitched noises, it just it hurts. It travels through my whole brain, gives me like a split headache in an instant. And, Makes my jaw hurt. I'm just weird. <laughs> there, I threw a notch on him. But what does that do to the rest of my signals here? See, I would want to do that, but you know, the ee starts, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I can't function even to reach up and touch the knob. So this TR45L radio has this notch filter, and so in that tuner upper, I. You just kept normally they just tune a couple times and then they probably flip over and they're probably one of my contacts. But in this case, he just kept tuning, kept tuning, kept tuning. I, I, he's been tuning what probably four or five contacts in a row now. Yeah. So I go ahead and apply that notch filter and see if we can eliminate his tuning. But now I'm, I'd like to take one more call so I can see what's that notch filter doing to my listen to the frequency I'm listening to. There's wide mode. Narrow, audio filter, audio filter off, wide mode, with the notch filter engaged now. Love this radio, no menus. You know, on a couple of these slower calls, I should have, I should have reached up here sooner. Now see, I'm on wide when that tuner upper went. Gotcha. 
Thank you, thank you. You know, I give him a 559, he's a nice, loud, strong signal, but I went to the narrow mode, so it's going to dampen it a bit. He's probably thinking, if I'm nice and loud, why'd you have to question mark me? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, you don't know what's happening on the other person's end. So maybe he didn't hear that tuner up there, just sitting there tuning and tuning on top of him. Well, he's not directly on top of us, he's, he's somewhere nearby. I think he's a little lower than us, I think. There he is again. I got the notch on. <laughs> Have you been there? Yeah, he's done it t three times just yep. in your transmission. So we'll turn that off. So now the notch is out. Wide mode. See if he comes in here again. Our atmospheric noise has come up a little bit. Mm. Well, you know, maybe not. I, I don't, uh, I forgot that my default is when I, I've saved all my frequencies in the in the memory so that when I turn the radio on, it comes on in the narrow mode. I kind of call that the middle because I have, I have wide, narrow, and audio filter. So I like to start here. That way I can go either way. I can go more filtered or less filtered if I hear a, a signal that's not coming in clearly. I call that the middle. It works out really good. You can also spot check to see where somebody's at. It's also the battery check. I didn't even check how much power I'm getting out. Because I just noticed my power knob is not at 100%, but I think I did earlier, I checked. Even though I'm on a paddle, I can take this paddle cord and I can plug it into the straight key hole and then just press on one side and it acts like a straight key. So that way I can check my power out. That's a smart idea. Thanks. If you don't have a red flag, oh. use a red t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, there That's you go. That's a smart idea. The truck just went past us carrying a boat and he, it's That's sticking cool. out of the back end so he hung a red t-shirt on the, the boat there. Looks like it's, the same as my kayak. Since too. it's hanging out there. All right, well folks let me go ahead and do my camera over here and hopefully i'm in frame anyway bless you so uh yeah we have 21 um and we are at barkley wildlife management area dicey's creek uh, right down below us is the boat ramp down that way showed you that in the last video same thing as the chelligans mc 750 sitting outside 25 foot piece of rg 316 tr 45l radio our little amazon clock and then our Bama Tech key love this key it's doing great and then I also have a jeweler's block that I put that on and I got the thicker's jeweler's block because the Bama Tech if you do sit it down it is the the, the uh, paddles are a little low so if I set it on this block it gives me a little bit of height there underneath it so that and then this is just a couple pieces of silicone to keep it from sliding around on me and uh yeah, works works out just fine. Anyway, that's about it. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll cut it off. I'm W4 EMB here with <laughs> AA4SB. There we go. All right, take it easy. <laughs>